When configuring entitlements for your application, LicensePring offers many attributes that can be parametrized, such as the license type, the number of devices that can share a license, which features should be available within the application, as well as the value for any custom field, just to name a few of these attributes. Let's imagine a software vendor who wishes to issue two types of license policies. One policy is intended for customers in an air-gapped environment requiring an on-prem floating license server to enforce a network license, allowing only up to a certain number of seats to use the application at once, and another policy where the license is node-locked directly onto each computer. Rather than configuring these vastly different license policies each time the vendor wishes to issue a new license, they can use our entitlement templating system to configure frequently used license policies. License policies make it simpler and less error prone for the software vendor to issue complex license entitlements, whether they are created by an internal account manager, by a reseller or distributor, or through a third party tool such as a CRM or a payment provider. In order to use this templating mechanism, the vendor defines the license policies for the products in their account, and then selects the appropriate policy when issuing a new license. Let's look at both of these steps in more detail. Once your product is defined within our platform, along with any features and custom fields, click on the License Policies tab. Keep in mind that every product must have at least one license policy which acts as the default policy for the product. Give your license policy a name and specify a policy code. Specify the type of license, whether it's a perpetual, time-limited, subscription, or consumption. Also be sure to configure any additional attributes on the type. Next, specify other attributes of the entitlement, such as the maximum number of activations, any license transfer policy, whether your application should be allowed to run in a virtualized environment, and so on. Finally, select any features which should be made available, as well as setting any values for custom fields, if appropriate. Any license policies that have been defined can then be selected at the moment when issuing licenses. If you need to make some small changes from a defined license policy, you can first select it and then use it as a starting point on the license issuance screen within the vendor platform. You can also select which product and license policies your resellers are allowed to distribute and manage. 